When working with a client, the project could become difficult or complicated quickly. The client may ask for some things that are just way beyond scope, or they may be going on a tangent, or they may be asking for something and not really sure why. There's a lot of things that could happen with a client relationship as you are working with a client on a website project. In this video, I'm going to cover one question that has helped me understand how to pull client feedback and pull what's valuable help clients de-escalate things that don't need to be as complicated as they think and also clarify with the client that this is out of scope. And my assumption just from the beginning to be so clear is that clients are often quite reasonable. I don't believe the other side of it. I actually believe they are quite reasonable. It's just they might not have a good understanding of the complications of website design, especially if you're on Squarespace. One thing that may look really easy that Amazon does may be extremely complex to pull off in Squarespace or is just something that is outside of the scope of the project with what they're asking. So I don't ding them for that. I give them all the credit that this is their first time or that they're not an expert. I don't expect them to be an expert. That's why they hired me. So it's really good to start off on that same page that I believe clients are very reasonable. There are unreasonable clients and we're going to address that. But for the most part, 99% of clients in my eyes are being reasonable. They might not know what to ask in these things. And so we're going to explore that now. And if we haven't met before, I might as well introduce myself a bit. My name is David. I've built over 150 websites on Squarespace, probably touched somewhere around 700 websites with SEO customizations on the platform. So there is a lot of experience, a lot of different things I could talk about. In this video, I'm really trying to help you understand things around client feedback. And there's one story I will share too that helped me so much to grow in this process of becoming a website designer where I feel confident and secure in what I'm doing. Now, the question is going to come and make so much sense, but you have to understand this one part. The biggest thing I see designers struggle with when I talk to designers and they're struggling with a client is they do not understand the actual problem. They assume they understand what the client is thinking too quickly. So the story goes a bit like this. The client asks you for something during the revision. They ask you for a request to make a change or adjustment to their site. The first thing you think about is how much work it's going to take to make it happen. If it's in scope, if it's out of scope, whatever it might be, you start to think, oh, this is going to take forever or it's a big customization or it's just not possible in the platform natively. At this moment, this is when you pause rather than respond to the client about why it's out of scope or any issue before you get there. Ask the client this. What would you like this to accomplish? This question, it is going to help you so much because if you understand what the client is trying to solve for, you could actually possibly suggest other solutions that they have not thought of. So before you even get into the development conversation, clarify with them what the purpose is. So here's an example. Client, so you would like to make this one page have all circular images rather than rectangular images so that for your site, you think it'll look better specifically for this one page. And at that point, the client could come back with a bit more information, a bit more feedback. From that feedback, you could ask more questions, learn more about what the client is thinking. The more you know what they're thinking, the more you could actually address the needs of the client. And alternatively, if the client is really set on a specific change, you can ask the client a question like this. How important is it for you to have this specific change? Because the thing is, to our surprise, sometimes clients make requests for a change that they think might be just two or three seconds, when in reality, it's going to take two to three days. You can communicate that with the client. They're like, oh, I'd like to actually customize this. Well, to customize that, it's going to take a lot of time and energy, which is going to remove us from other parts of the project. Is this an important component for you? And just like that, you could learn quickly. They might say, oh, no, I just thought it would be cool. And you just saved yourself two to three days of work. Now, here's the underlying principle that's that makes this so valuable. It's this for clients. They want to know that they're directing the project. And dare I say it, that's such a risky statement. 
but they want to know that they have a say in the project. I have never developed a website where a client has not given me some sort of feedback on the site. And the reason is humans as we are, are afraid of the unknown. We're afraid of uncertainty. So part of that is trying to control something or put it into life the way we think it needs to be. And a lot of times clients will come in and at the right times, you don't want them directing it too much, especially if they're talking you out of good UI or UX principles. But if they're directing you in a way that makes them feel more in charge of the project, you can filter through that and see, is this actually something that is worth arguing about or going back and forth on when in reality, it might just be, they want to direct the project a bit. So they just want a little bit more spacing or a little bit less spacing or whatever that might be. You can tell them, I got you. What you're asking, you're directing this project. I'm going to make sure you see it come to life the way you think it should be. Again, don't take that to the extreme. Some people will take that to the extreme, but don't take that to the extreme. Truly clients are reasonable. They want to feel in charge. They just want to give some guidance or direction. They want to make sure that it aligns with who they are or what they want or what they're looking for. I hope that makes sense. That part is something that can get misconstrued quickly, but I, I believe that is enough. Now, since this is a reality that clients have fears and are afraid of the unknown or, or have never done this before and don't know how to approach it, and they may do stuff just because, well, you can guide them, bit like a therapist, you can guide them in the right direction and also start to paint a picture of what they're trying to do, paint the vision for them. See, me, I don't sell design, I sell vision. So when I'm working with a client, I really push where the project's gonna go, the potential the site is gonna give them, the resources that they have with having this site, if it makes sense, right? All of this is in a, in a container of if it makes sense for the client. But if it does make sense, I'm gonna paint a very clear picture of this is where we're starting. This is what you could add later. This is what you could build on later. It's a few clicks to do this, few clicks to do that. You could bring it all to life within this site. And this process here is one of the main things that has helped me become a better designer. So yes, projects can become difficult working with a client. There might be times, no, actually I'll say it differently. There will be times where you'll need to tell a client no, it's out of scope or it's gonna cost more or it's not something that I could accomplish for you or it's just unreasonable. There is time to say those things. But before you get there, make sure you understand what the client wants and not just what they're asking specifically, change this to that, but understand why. When you understand why, you can work with the client in a deeper, healthier, and a much better long-term relationship. With that, thank you for watching. If you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments below. If you got value from this video, hit that like button. And if you want more content like this, we publish new content every single week, three times a week right now, which is crazy to me, but three times a week, we publish new content. So subscribe, you'll find great value. If you have any questions, again, drop them below, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.